Here comes the long train. The long train. Yeah. Long train. folks we're going to start off with the first installment of this video these series of videos making a down donorama and since the uh, box car is the star of the uh, donorama I thought I'd start by doing a few little things with it this is an Accurail made in the USA box car it's a uh, uh, 1940s 36 foot double sheath wood ends box car okay and uh, the reason I chose this because I just think they look cool <laughs> and they look they 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 go real well with my my idea of way my layout will look I like the the 50s, 60s, even maybe early 70s look. And these boxcars, I'm sure, made it clean into the 70s if they were repaired a little bit or something like that. So, first thing we're going to do is my daughter made some handy dandy, whoop, handy dandy little decals now these ain't your conventional decals so I don't know how they're gonna work so I'm gonna try them out these are transfers and uh, we'll see how it works out I'm gonna stop the camera and get set up so that you can watch me mess up and put these on <laughs> alrighty back at you All right, first thing my daughter said to do was to cut the individual out, and uh, that's what we'll do. So we'll take the scissors and I'll tell you what, either I need a sharper pair of scissors, or this stuff ain't too easy to cut. Wow, man, definitely going to be in, in the, the market for a new pair of scissors. I don't know if you can still, I want to make sure I'm still. I'm planning on putting that right here. Okay. Trying to get an idea here. Kind of straight.
Hmm. Well, let's do this. I, you can see I cut the decal out and I'm gonna peel it. This is a like a peel and stick type thing. That she made on her Cricut. And the trick is now to line it up where you want it. Good. And then you take a blunt end, which I'm going to take this. Kind of like what uh, Vinny had, now that I think about it, for from the uh, highways and byways for the street stuff. And this is a vinyl. Put it on there. Hope everybody can see. Whoop, I can't. I'm trying to do it so you can see, but I'm just rubbing this across there like so. Okay. And then you slowly peel it. Slowly, slowly, slowly peel it off. Not bad, huh? And then I'm going a little step further, which I don't know if this is the right way to do it. But I'm going to take and throw my brush on the floor. I'm going to take a little bit of Microsol, Microsol, just like you would a regular decal. I'm going to real gently put some Microsol on it to try to set that good. Go over it and make sure there ain't nothing sticking up. No, I ain't doing it with that. I'll just leave it alone. Some things you just need to leave alone. But you can see. That really looks pretty cool. Now, don't it? <laughs> I think so. Not bad. Okay. And I'll be right back after I cut out another one. All right. Let's see if I can try to do this in the thing here where you don't see I don't, I don't want my hand to cover up I I can I don't really know of a better angle to do this but slowly peel the back off oop I'm 
And I mean slowly, especially when you're doing letters. Okay. Get turned around here. And line it up. Don't mind my head, but I want this right. Picking. Rub this in, like she said. Like so. It's pretty cool how this is working. Pretty cool. Now I know that ain't a conventional decal, but I ain't a conventional guy. And she made these for me for free. And I like free. And I do believe, here's a special announcement, exclusive Indian Head Valley news. I believe she's going to go to Strasburg with me. Her and my granddaughter, Cheyenne, the artist, you know, that you guys have seen on my channel. So, something to give you extra incentive to go to Strasbourg. And we slowly peel this off. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, that's the cat's meow. <laughs> that is the cat's meow, my friends. Check it out. Is that not bad or what? Huh? You put some microsol on that puppy. Not that I have to, but I want to. Just a little extra added, set it. And then I'm going to take, after this is all said and done, I'm going to, I'm going to take and spray this down with a, uh, a matte clear coat. That ought to do it. I like it. I like it. Set it off. In case you're wrong. Now, you know, I'm going to have to go get another one of these box cars so that I have another one. <laughs> the nice thing about when we making this for the diorama, you can take this off the diorama, put it on your layout, and run it around your 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 track, too, on your, your layout, which, yeah, 
Yeah. Not bad. All right. So we're going to let that dry for a little bit. I think it'll film clear coating. And that's ready to get the graffiti added. And then after I get all the graffiti added, then I'll put it together the rest of the way. And it'll be ready for the layout. And we'll go on. But I thought you guys would like to see that. I think that's pretty cool.